Terrifying. So I know in a previous video I showed you how my husband doesn't get any of my closet space and how a lot of his clothes that he wears on a daily basis just end up in my room in the corner on some furniture. Um, but believe it or not, I did give him some space, but unfortunately it's not in his room. So I wanted to show you where my husband's clothes are. Um, this is my living room where we keep my TV. We don't have an entertainment center and we don't have room in the bedroom for a dresser. So the dresser serves its purpose um, as a dresser and an entertainment center. And this is what the corner of my living room looks like. Um, we've got our TV and some DVDs, a DVD player, and then there's actually some more DVDs in my bedroom. Um, one of the curtains that never got hung up, um, actually, it's supposed to be hung up here. And if the curtain was hung up properly, those are the rest of our DVDs. Um, I don't know what else to do. So that's this area and then the dresser here is actually my husband's dresser. Now this drawer is broke. Um, I don't know if you can see that. The drawer is broke so he can't use it. But he does have some of the other drawers in use down here with his clothes and things in it. And then he also gets this little nook. This is the only official closet in the house. And I'm going to show it to you now. And it's actually, it's a pretty good sized closet. I just wish there was more of them. Um, it's this room here. It's covered with these bamboo things. I got these at, um, it was like a yard sale, but it was at a church. And I actually got three of them. I have one here. I have one hanging up between the kitchen and the living room. And then there is a third one that I wanted to use to cover the um, cubby hole in the bathroom. But anyways, so we'll go in here. Um, it's got a string pulley system. But I really kind of don't know how to operate that. So I just roll it up. I'm holding a camera in my mouth. Okay, this is my husband's closet. Um, I shouldn't say his because he doesn't get it all to himself, but he does get some of it. Um, these are his shoes, but actually I probably have more shoes in here than he does. Um, these are shoes I'll probably never wear again. These were probably for some event that I had to go to and probably wore them once. Um, it's what I like to call my hooker boots from the thrift store. I had to have them, but I never wear them. And everything, as you can see, is really dusty because these shoes don't get used a whole lot. I do have a lot of used shoes, though. Um, and then this is the rest of the closet. Um, my husband does have a lot of his clothes in his suitcases because of our lack of um, storage space. So um, why store empty suitcases when we can store clothes in them? That's a broken DVD player. Um, it's been broken for five years. I always think one day I'll fix it, but I never did. Um, this is probably garbage. We get a lot of... Um, hand-me-downs. My, my mother is always giving us stuff that she should throw away and then I don't throw it away. But anyways, um, there are some hooks in here as you can see. Um, we've always wanted to get more hooks. And then back in the corner, uh, my husband's fishing equipment. He loves fishing. There's his tackle box and um, you can see his fishing rod. And then there's some supplies down there that we used when we were actually first moving into the house. Um, I actually have a video on YouTube um, that demonstrates what bad condition this house was in when we got it and how we have fixed it up a lot. So um, we did keep extra paint because I don't know why, but we did. So um, all that crap is, is back there and then my husband's mess.
and his tool bag. He would love to have a toolbox, but that's his stuff. And baskets of clothes and the gas can. Um, one of the last things I have from my car, I did take pictures of her when I took her to the junkyard, but the gas can and her license plates are all I have left. I'm a pack rat.